it's me, AG. Ah! There's a little, a little echoey, echoey in here. I'm very sorry. We just moved and we're waiting on a little furniture. So lots has changed in the last five months. We moved, the babies. I've been working out. I always heard, oh, your body's gonna be so different after you have babies and I didn't, I didn't really believe anybody. After Isaac, it was a little different, but now I had three kids in two years. It's been a lot. It's been a lot on my body. My weight has been up and down. My energy level, oh, what is energy anymore without coffee or like MCT oil? Jeez, jug it. <laughs> Working out has been a whole new concept for me. Just like getting to move my body feels like a pleasure. And I've been going back to work, slowly but surely. It's just all been an adjustment in such a big way. And my glass is still half full. My three boys! Such a blessing, but so much, so much has changed. I'm so excited to tell my birth story to all of you from start to finish, from the time that I found out I was having twins to now. Um, and I was able to do a little tiny portion of that in the glamour op-ed, but, um, and it was, and it was amazing that I was able to share a little part of that, but I left a lot of holes in it so that I could fill it in and tell you all the whole story, but we'll get into that soon. So Roman and Malachi, or we always said Roman and Malachi because Roman was baby A and Malachi was baby B for so long until the last month. And the last month, Malachi decided to say, oh no, mommy, I'm going first, I'm baby A. And then Roman was baby B. They're fraternal twins, I had two placentas, so there was a lot going on in there. Justin and I actually took some time to really think about the names. We wanted strong names, we wanted it to be able to match Isaac's name, and um, we kept the Bible theme, but you know, Roman's a little twist. Isaac, Malachi, and Roman, they just all go together really well. Malachi came first, Two hours and seven minutes later, pops out Roman. And he was breech in the bathtub. So we went from living in a, from three people living in a three bedroom apartment in Brooklyn to boom, there's five of us. There, I am a family of five. I needed space. I grew up in the burbs. Justin grew up in the burbs. So we can definitely, we, we love the space aspect, but being like New Yorkers and be, having lived in New York since I was 17 years old, I'm 34, you guys. This is the longest I've ever lived anywhere in my life because just as a reminder for the OGs out there, I have lived in Texas, Atlanta, Arkansas, New Hampshire, Nebraska, and New York since I was 17 years old. To leave everything, like the, the tw I spent my 20s in New York. I spent my, I got married in New York. I fell in love in New York. I had all three of my children in New York City. I made all my mistakes in New York City. I made money in New York City. Like, my career was in New York City. Then I just kept having children and I knew I needed space, so we moved to New Jersey. We moved to a house. We have stairs. We have two and a half acres. We have a pool. We have, um, I have a walk-in closet. Ah! I have space and it just feels so good. And also like now knowing that my kids can run around and have freedom and Isaac was just play, playing with frogs and crickets outside. He thinks he's a dino hunter and he hides in the ferns, which is also really cute. So we go look for T-Rexes all the time. What are you looking for? Dinos. Did you find any dinos? Yes. You found a T-Rex? Yeah. Some of you are trinkling in from Instagram and Maybe you've seen some of my footage from there of my backyard. Maybe you haven't. We'll roll the footage right here. I was supposed to go out of frame. Going from a tiny apartment to a house meant that I needed to furnish this place up. And that's why I am so grateful to the amazing team at a firm for making my backyard of my dreams. If you are also upgrading your space for summer, check out Affirm to pay over time. Thank you to Mikkel Welsh and to the Affirm team. Just in time for summer. Everything is different now. I, I feel like I even walk differently. I'm still coming to this place of accepting where I am and accepting my new tummy and accepting my new weight. Because for so long I've been in the public eye and, and I've been, um, championing body advocacy. I'm basically just constantly comparing myself to myself. I can't do that because I've always talked about not comparing yourself to others. So 
even if you're comparing yourself to yourself, it can spiral and turn into a negative. So I'm, I'm personally working on those things right now. I know that I can speak to so many other new mommies out there who realize that your body is different. Your body is not your own anymore, or it feels like it's not your own. And it's like, everybody tells you, oh, it'll go back. You'll get to a place. Da, 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 da. Your hair is falling out. It's okay. It'll grow back. But like, you, it's almost like you can't feel it and see it because you're just living it and you're in the moment so deep. So I am grateful for platforms like this where we can all talk to each other. I do think that there are safe spaces on the internet where we can um, tell our truths and how we're actually really feeling. And I hope that, you know, if you're watching this and you feel the same way, uh, just leave a comment because I read all the comments and I hear you and I feel you and it's gonna make me feel better. I know that this time next year, my whole everything is gonna feel different, look different, but just being in the moment and just sitting in my five month postpartum body and telling myself, embrace it, embrace it. It feels really triggering. <laughs> so to be able to talk to you guys and laugh about it and be like, hey, it's okay that I'm not like truly embracing everything in this moment. It just takes time. It feels freeing. So thank you for allowing me to just talk to you guys and be honest. I know that a lot of you, when we meet, you say how much I've inspired you, but I just want to say how much truly you all inspire me. Um, this is about community and hearing from you and um, I don't take any conversation or comment or DM lightly. It all matters and words really do have power, especially when you're speaking them to someone else. So um, if you're feeling down, just know you're not alone and we're all in this together. So I hope that you can feel the love through this video because I know exactly how you feel right now. There's my little update on my life and where I am right now. Um, thank you for being patient with me. I do have a lot of children <laughs> and a career and I'm my mom, I'm a, I'm a wife, there's so many things. But you know what I have been saying to myself all along is that we rise to the occasion that we're met and um, and I'm really feeling empowered by that. I am so excited to be back on YouTube, giving you guys life updates and um, you all are so incredible. Thank you for being on my channel and I'm gonna be giving you lots of updates throughout the summer. So I'll see you later. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, take care of yourself.